Oh boy. Wake up, babe. <laughs> New Deaf Noodles tweet. Let's go. Who could have seen this coming? Mr. Beast's allegations of toxic work environment covered by Insider. A former editor for Mr. Beast alleged he berated him almost every day and called him a phrase used to insult people with mental disabilities. Wait, you mean retard? Retard? That word? Is that what you're talking about? Wait a minute, why is this a story being covered now? Wait, I covered this like two years ago. Why is this being talked about like it's new news? Oh, wait a minute. Look who wrote the article. Stephen A. Sark. Oh, okay, yeah. You, you know, Stephen A. Sark, the same journalist that used to hang around this channel and uh, hates YouTube now and wants to burn YouTube to the ground. The same journalist that snitched to YouTube when Leafy made a new channel and tried to get him shut down. Actually, in all honesty, succeeded in getting him uh, re-banned from YouTube. Uh, that's Stephen A. Sark. Okay, so we got Stephen A. Sark pumping out an article here. Suddenly, Deaf Noodles covers it as if it's news, even though this is like a two-year-old story. But a day before all of this, Taylor Lorenz comes out with her own story. D do you, are you guys seeing the pattern here? It's like every day, every time something happens, it's always the same people just getting involved, you know, uh, taking it step by step. You got Taylor Lorenz, Stephen A. Sark, Deaf Noodles, uh, Ethan Klein and Trisha Paytas, although they're not involved in this story, probably because Ethan's getting his ass sued right now and doesn't want to start a new fight with uh, Mr. Beast here. But... I mean, look, I don't want to get too conspiratorial with it, but I'm just saying it's kind of funny. You know what else is funny? This Taylor Lorenz article right here. It's titled, Mr. Beast, YouTube star wants to take over the business world. Now, it starts off kind of, you know, neutral and just talking about him, talking about how Mr. Beast wants to become the new Elon Musk, all that jazz, blah, blah, blah. But as we scroll down into the article, she describes Mr. Donaldson, <laughs> not Mr. Beast, Mr. Donaldson. Got to use the real name there because, you know, we're super cool journalists. Um, not, you know, not, not, not that she's doxing Mr. Beast. It's just kind of weird to, you know, use his real name. Anyway, she writes here, uh, Mr. Beast's rise as a creator entrepreneur like that of many YouTuber of his ilk has been far from smooth. Really? He's kind of been one of the most uncontroversial YouTubers of all time. I mean, yeah, it gets into, you know, oh, last week he, uh, one of his companies promoted a crypto thing that ended up not being as cool as people thought it was. But I mean, that, that wasn't Mr. Beast's involvement there. Look, Mr. Beast will get into controversy because people will make controversy about anybody, not because he's particularly offensive. Anyway, his early videos and posts were criticized for their use of slurs and offensive jokes. Well, damn. Wow. Really? His early videos were criticized for use of slurs? Who was criticizing him? Let's click the link right here. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> it's Taylor's old article three years ago where she calls Mr. Beast homophobic because he used the word fag on Twitter a couple times. No, seriously. That, that's it. That's it. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. He made an attack helicopter joke back in 2016 as well. So there you go. I just love how she words it. She doesn't say that uh, I have been critical of Mr. Beast in the past. No, she makes it out like multiple people were when in reality it was just her. Nobody else cared. Nobody else even uh, took this article seriously. As a matter of fact, when this article came out calling Mr. Beast homophobic, I did a video on my old channel, even back then, even three years ago, stomping out journalists, because that's just, I've always, I've always known these people are just horrible people. Mr. Beast even uh, commented on this video and thanked me for defending him. So that, that should tell you something, right? So I can't believe I almost forgot to show this, but um, this is a little bit of an editor's note. Stephen A. Sark, uh, the, uh, one of the writers of the uh, Mr. Beast article, um, you know, where, where he references Taylor Lawrence, who wrote an article saying that Mr. Beast is homophobic because he said the word fag on Twitter a few times back in, like, 2016, uh, also said the word, not just the word fag, but the whole thing, like, f you see it on screen in 2016. So, uh, <laughs> I don't know, dude. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, Tommy writes, it's weird that Insider takes issue with the allegations of Mr. Beast using terms meant to disparage people with mental disabilities, but employs people like Stephen Asar who use words to disparage people in the LGBTQ community. 
Bad example to set. I'm just saying. I'm just saying, dude. Maybe don't throw, uh, what, what's the saying? Don't throw stones in glass houses. I don't know, dude. Pretty fucking weird. Uh, I wonder if Taylor Lawrence is going to write an article on her friend Stephen Asark using such disparaging language. Insane. Bad. Anyway, I'm not going to talk about that article. I'm going to talk about the article that for some reason just came out a day after Taylor's article that talks about the toxic work environment that Mr. Beast has created. Let's get into it right here. Uh, working for the 22-year-old YouTuber star isn't going to be the most professional work environment, Taylor Lorenz, the author of the Time Story, told Insider. Oh, really? She told Insider? You mean these people are all working together in group chats? Color me surprised. But if you are posturing yourself as a business leader or the next Elon Musk, you should think about the type of work culture you're creating and what you're rewarding. Damn, cool stuff, Taylor. Nate Anderson, who edited for Mr. Beast for one week, told The Times that the YouTuber was a perfectionist and that he made unreasonable demands. After he released a now-deleted video about his time working with Mr. Beast, Anderson said he received death threats and hateful comments from Mr. Beast's dedicated fans. Folks, let me tell you something right now. As somebody that gets, you know, death threats, doxing, all kinds of stuff sent my way, I could personally give a fuck if you're sent death threats because you came out and said, Mr. Beast was mean to me in the workforce. Ah, he was a perfectionist. Yeah, it's called business, all right? If you don't do your job right, then yeah, he will yell at you. He will snap at you. That's just how it works. It's, it's not like he was like, you know, beating you or something. You know what I mean? Like you made one editing mistake and he was like, Ugh! you know, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like that's not what was going on. Oh, he was a perfectionist. Well, do better work. I'm sorry. I don't really care about this complaint at all. He made unreasonable demands. Okay. Uh, cry about it, I guess. I don't, I don't really know. Matt Turner, a different editor for Mr. Beast from 2018 to 2019, told the Times that the content creator had scolded him on an almost daily basis. He said he, the YouTuber, called, uh, he said he, the YouTuber, called by a term he was called by what the fuck is this writing there's like editing there's like spelling mistakes <laughs> what wait there's actually spelling mistakes here anyway he said that mr beast called him a retard which brought him to tears that let me just rewrite this article for you Stephen a sir because he suck at your job the times reported Turner added that he wasn't credited for his work and that when he would ask to be Donaldson would credit someone else this is, by the way, an unsubstantiated claim. The first claim that he was called a retard, even if that was true, I don't care. All right? Sorry. Sorry. Your boss called you a retard because you produce shitty work. All right? Oh, but it brought him to tears. Wow. Grow the fuck up. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> I don't care at all. You know why else I don't care? Because listen to this right here. Back in 2019, when Turner came out against Mr. Beast, do you know what he also said about Mr. Beast? I'll say, I'll, I'll, I'll play Optimus's video right here because it's eye-opening what we're talking about here. And Sor Turner is an editor, okay? Now, at one point, he was editing videos for Mr. Beast. He was being paid to edit for them. He actually ended up moving down there, working for these guys. And at the time, apparently, he had aspirations of doing something else. He had aspirations of either going off to college in the fall or moving to Los Angeles or backpacking across Asia, which these were his three plans, apparently. Now, Mr. Beast knew this, and according to Turner himself, they actually approached him. They had a sit-down with him. They talked to him about it, and they said, look, we're looking for people who are more permanent in this whole thing. We want people who are actually down for this operation. We want to know if you're actually going to stay here in the fall or if you're going to actually pursue these other opportunities. If you say you're going Going with these other opportunities we're gonna have to basically let you go when the time comes and turner said yeah i'm gonna pursue a different opportunity so it was mutual that he was going to be moving forward from working with him that was going to be the best option he wanted to pursue a personal path but at this point mr beast was still allowing him to live in an apartment that mr beast was paying for apparently for as long as he desired wait wait, wait. what keep listening keep listening without an issue at all i lived with a kid named eric who was the other videographer for mr beast and they said all right, all right i'm gonna i'm gonna slow that down a little bit there because that's a little bit insane hold on listen to this it's actually eye-opening named Eric, who was the other videographer for Mr. Beast, and they said, who also, by the way, Mr. Beast paid for my rent every month when I lived in North Carolina. And he said, all right, you can live here as long as you want. You can literally stay in this like pretty expensive apartment just until you feel comfortable leaving. Don't feel like you're in a rush. <laughs> Wait, which I would say is quite generous and kind, especially if it has now been. De so he works with Mr. Beast. After a while, he decides to separate himself and, you know, go on some personal adventure of his. Mr. Beast continues to 
pay for his stuff. Even though he's not producing work for the company, he's still getting paid as if he was. Decided that this person is not going to be an employee of your company in the near future. And instead of- Okay, yeah, yeah. Optimus is basically just saying the same thing I did. Let's, let's listen to this other clip right here. Mr. Beast. We're, we're still going to pay you for a while, and that is basically- Funding my trip to backpack across Asia, which is so insane. <laughs> now everything you just wait, wait. So he had a personal dream. One of his dreams was to backpack across Asia, and Mr. Beast allowed him to do that, even though he wasn't producing work uh, for Mr. Beast. On top of that, there's old tweets uh, where he talked about just a few months before he made allegations that Mr. Beast was this asshole, this this abuser in the workplace. This was before he came out those allegations. As the guy who Mr. Beast hired instead of Fly, and the person who Fly talked about in his videos, I can state that Mr. Beast treats everybody on his team, including me, with high amounts of respect. It is super high energy work environment. To be honest, never had a better job. Never had a better job. So you're telling me that two years later, after everybody shat on this guy for being a clout chaser and coming out against Mr. Beast, now we're supposed to come out and uh, care that, again, he was called retard in the workforce, even if that was true, which, to be honest, I could believe that, all right? Mr. Beast gets a little bit, you know, uh, snappy with his editors when they're not doing proper work. Yeah, that's called running a business. That's called having a job. Guaranteed, I'd be calling my employees all kinds of things, uh, yelling at them if they weren't doing the work that I uh, was paying them to produce, all right? Yeah, I'd call them every name in the book. I don't give a fuck. I'm trying to get my job done. I'm trying to get, you know, uh, shit produced, all right? And if my employees aren't doing what I'm paying them for, yeah. I, okay. Oh, you got to cry like a little bitch at the workplace? I, I'm sorry, but, you know, this is like something that... You know, everyone has to deal with. And I'm not saying if you live or, or if you work in a shitty work environment, like ac an actually shitty one, that you're supposed to just put up with that and just, you know, be subservient to it. But I'm saying that, you know, it is, you know, you will get yelled at if you're not doing your job right. All right. And if you cry about that, that's not my business. That's not Mr. Beast's business. All right. You just suck. <laughs> you just you just suck. You're just terrible. Sorry. But that, it's true. But now, two years later, cancel Mr. Beast again for the same thing that we already talked about two years ago. Because it's in the news again. <laughs> I, I don't know. I really don't know. Uh, Mr. Beast paid for your vacation to Africa, uh, to Asia. He uh, paid for your bills. He, he paid you as if you were an employee when you weren't. I don't care how mean he was to you while you're working for him. Sounds like a pretty good gig to me. I would, if I had to work at a job where I didn't even have to work and I was getting, you know, free trips to Asia paid for, uh, for me, hell yeah, I'll take it. Are you going to call me a retard? You know, tell me I'm replaceable every day. Okay. At least I had the gig while it lasted. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, man. He also released in 2019 a now-deleted YouTube video in which he said that Mr. Beast deleted the project file for a video he was editing because a compilation of clips of his philanthropy did not equal the 500,000 figure amount mentioned in the title of the video. Oh yeah, that's right. This Turner guy tried to say that Mr. Beast would delete his uh, his hard work, his editing work. Like, he would do it wrong, and then Mr. Beast would just come into the room and just delete the file and tell him to start over, which doesn't make any sense. This is another unsubstantiated claim. Uh, he tried to prove this by showing a picture of Mr. Beast sitting at his desk to prove that that was somehow him deleting the file, I, which is not proof of that at all. And even so, it wouldn't make any sense for him to do that. Like... Mi like you produce like shitty work and Mr. Beast is like, oh yeah, I'm going to delete the whole thing. So it delays the entire uh, release date of my video just to show you like that doesn't that that doesn't make any sense. I'm sorry, but that just is ridiculous. So Mr. Beast canceled. He, uh, he, 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 he runs a shitty work environment. Fuck, fuck him, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. Stephen A. Sark sucks. Uh, Taylor Lorenz sucks. Journalists in general suck. They are just the absolute uh, heathens of the internet. They just want to ruin everyone's fun. They want to take your money. Uh, they do not want to see you thrive because YouTube is the new media. All right, It replaces uh, their work. And they don't like that. Journalists have always had it out for independent media, YouTube, 
it's not even a, like a political thing. I mean, it's very largely politically uh, centered, but journalists in general just have have it out for youtubers and we need to stop giving people like this attention we need to stop letting people like this crawl around the community you know we need to stop letting like journalists you know uh work with us and be like oh well i hate journalists but that journalist is one of the good ones they're an honest journalist no i, I don't believe that any of these people are honest um you're really gonna have to win me over to prove to me that you're a journalist with good intention i don't believe it at all my name's All UFC. I'll catch you guys later, everyone. Peace the hell out.